Welcome to episode 2 of Animal Workshop where I film animals and build things in the workshop. I had this idea for a lightweight pan and tilt head uh, that I could use on a pole or, or one of my cranes so I um, just popped a few notes down on a piece of paper. Anyway, more of that uh, later in this episode. First off, I'm in the north of Tasmania at um, Ashbestos Ranges, Bakers Beach. Uh, I'm up here because it's open country and a lot of the wildlife is uh, quite easy to get to. In the south of the state, uh, the forests are much denser uh, and wildlife tends to disappear pretty quickly. So it's much more difficult to get good footage of wombats, for instance, like these, uh, which disappear off into the scrub as soon as you see them or under the heath. Here they're out in the open and uh, you can just slowly wander up to them. These are water rats, or for the Aboriginal name is Rakali, uh, are found all over the state, but in this open country you can actually get to see them. They're an absolutely beautiful animal. Uh, rat is really the wrong word for them. They behave more like a, an otter. They're uh, a hunting, they hunt small fish and eat crustaceans, so they don't scavenge. And um, to watch them is they're, they're just absolutely beautiful. In between the sand dunes and the uh, open country, there's there's this lake. Um, it doesn't water doesn't actually flow into it. It's more uh, picks up drainage and drainage from it from it goes into a, an estuary nearby. So there isn't actually flowing water, uh, but it harbors a, a massive amount of wildlife like this white-faced heron. But what I'm really interested in up here are the forest of kangaroos or uh, eastern grey kangaroos. Uh, this is Tasmania's biggest mammal, a macropod, um, and they're really delightful animals. They're big and they're strong and they're fast and they jump high, as well as jumping high, running fast, uh, they can also fight. Uh, experts have told me that uh, they're supposed to be four times the strength of a human, so if they really wanted to do damage to one of us, they, um, <laughs> they wouldn't have much trouble. Uh, I wouldn't want to go a round or two with one. My father, while shooting in the east of the state many, many years ago, said he came face to face with one and he decided uh, very quickly to back down and run around the other side of the tree. Good idea, I thought. Uh, this mob haven't been shot at for many years because they're in a national park. Uh, so they're fairly tame. I very carefully moved in amongst them. It took me about an hour and I moved about 100 metres just shuffling along uh, with my tripod in front of me. But I got there and I got, as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty close to them. Pretty handy thing to have that, a retractable ball sack. Uh, particularly if you're jumping fences. When you see the underside of that tail, you can really see that they're almost a five-legged animal. Alright, that's enough of the wildlife. Now back into the workshop. Uh, most of the parts of this um, pan and tilt I've pre-made. I've milled them up on the milling machine and the lathe and welded the parts I've had to uh, and I'm just assembling it here. The sides are made out of carbon fibre which I've laid up myself. Uh, all the rest of it is aluminium. All the bearings are, are stainless steel um, and they're pressed into polyurethane uh, blocks. I've designed it so the camera can be adjusted on three axes, both forward and back, uh, side by side, and up and down, so that it remains perfectly balanced no matter what the pan or the tilt's doing. The motors are 30 rev a minute gear motors, uh, and they're controlled by um, speed controllers that I saw from Servo City in the States. Uh, 
So that's the finished item. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to use it for yet. Uh, wildlife tends not to stand still enough to use these sorts of gadgets on them, but I have these rushes of blood to the head occasionally and just have to go ahead and make them. However, I did manage to get pretty close to these uh, chooks and they didn't seem to run off. And uh, So I got these shots of uh, with the gadget in the first time out. There's a bit of a knack really to, to using it, to combining the, the um, joystick control for the pan and the tilt and, uh, and manipulating the boom at the same time. You really need two people, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it's worked out. So that's episode two, and episode three is next. I'm just starting to work on that now. I'm going to be in the southern forest, the temperate rainforest of Tasmania. Not a lot of wildlife, but a lot of beautiful scenery. Um, so uh, stay in touch, subscribe, click the thumbs up button, all that sort of uh, internet-y, youtube -y sort of stuff, and uh, I look forward to um, seeing you in episode three. Thanks.